Breaks away and throws it down. A year ago at this time, there were books and basketball, a lot warmer climate than this. Your life has changed a great deal. How are you coping with it? How is it all settling in for you? Yeah, so far it's been pretty, pretty good. You know, with last year it was, you know, in the classroom, you're getting a lot of books, you're doing a lot of studying, and then, then you're doing basketball next. So um, it's just different. You know, the NBA is just straight basketball. Um, I feel like I'm more focused a little bit more when I just have one thing to focus on. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm doing what I love to do. And, uh, Hope I can continue to do this for you know as many more years to come. You know, a lot of people don't see is that we're at a shoot around a game tonight, and you're being tugged at with all kinds of interviews. You come from practice to more meetings and more preparation. Your life really is from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. Basketball. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, you know, before in college, um, you know, you have you have class from what nine to two, and then basketball from three to six. So really a little bit of your day is basketball so uh you know nowadays it's when you wake up nine o'clock basketball like you say meetings media more meetings than basketball so at the end of the day you know you're, you're really doing like a nine to nine to five basketball so it, it's a pretty long day but at the same time you know i wouldn't do it for anything else let's talk about the court has minnesota been what you thought it would be when they called your name on draft night yeah definitely uh, you know, I thought it was just going to be snow everywhere. I thought it was just going to be cold. But it's cold, but it's not as cold as, you know, a lot of people say. The mild winter was yeah, for you. That's a, <laughs> a lot of people say it's, it gets colder. So hopefully it doesn't get too much colder, you know, from the time I'm here yeah. and, until next year. So, yeah. But so far it's going pretty well. You've had some electrifying plays, the, the dunks, the, the three-point shots. Uh, what is it like for you to be a part of this team that has really exceeded expectations so far? It's just a blessing, you know. Uh, a lot of people, you know, say we couldn't couldn't win a lot of games even with, yeah. with myself and with Ricky and, and Coach coming in and some new faces all around. So they thought that with the lockout, you know, we're not going to have enough time to practice and and do the things that we're doing so far. You know, it's the first time we've been over five, you know, at 500 since six years six years ago. So. You know, we're, we're already, you know, exceeding expectations. That's a good thing. It's, it gives us a lot of confidence. Can you feel it out on the court with some of these teams that come in thoroughly expecting to beat you guys mm -hmm. and they walk away with a loss? <laughs> yeah, I feel like a, a lot of people do that, you know. And, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal when you have our fans, you know, out here supporting us and when we have four or five sellouts already. So, you know, they, they want to come see us. You know, that's, I think that's the difference is, you know, last year's team, they weren't sure if they wanted to win or they wanted to make the playoffs. and. You know, our expectations are we want to win, we want to, you know, we want to make the playoffs, you know, we want our fans to be here, we want you know, 18, 19,000 to be here. So it really just gives us a lot of confidence when all the fans get here, not just for the other teams that are playing because they want to see their favorite player, but because we're here you know, and we're turning things around. Okay, you're a thoroughbred. You want to run. You want to play all you can. Yeah. <laughs> you see Kyrie Irving playing a lot. Here, there's a little bit of a backlog. There's a few veterans in front of you, all that. Are you patient, or is that is it driving you crazy? <laughs> Probably say a, a little bit of both. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, you know, Kyrie's having a great year. Uh, different you know, situation. Though. Different situation. Yeah, different. It's different. Um, you know, he really had to come in and, and do what he's doing, and he's doing it. And yeah. uh, you know, that's the reason why they picked him. And uh, he's just a, a great talent. You know, he, he can score. He can he can pass. He has a great vision, great IQ, kind of like you know, Ricky with his IQ and, and basketball knowledge. So. He's done a great job. You know, we have different situations. Completely different situations. Yeah, uh, you know, I have an all-star right in front of me. You know, he's averaging, you know, pretty close to 30 and 20. So, you know, it, it really does help me, though. You know, I'm learning, being patient, um, learning when I can and go, you know, when I get in there, what I can do and what I can't do. So, I'm um, starting a little slow, but at the same time, it's a different situation. And, um, you know, I'm just happy that he's, he's doing his thing out there. Coach Adelman talked to you at all about that to just say, Patience, my friend. Patience. Yeah, yeah, all the time. You know, all the coaches. You know, even some of the players. Uh, you know, they're always telling me, you know, to be patient. You know, your time's coming, and uh, as well as a lot of fans as well. They know the situation that I'm in, and uh, I don't. I don't think I'm in. I don't think many other rookies are in the same situation I'm in. So, uh, you know, I think it's a great experience. So, um, just learning a lot of patience. Last question: Would you have anything different if if uh, you had the opportunity? Uh, you know, I wouldn't change anything. You know. Uh, you know, I wouldn't, you know, I don't want to come here. I wouldn't, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm glad I got picked here. Um, I think a lot of pressure is relieved, you know, not being a number one pick. And at the same time, 
you know, coming to the team that is already ex exceeding, you know, expectations. And I think that's that's really what it is. You know, I told a lot of people when I got here, um, you know, my job is, is, is to win 10 plus more games than the team won last year. So if we can do that, if we can win 25 plus games um, in a shortened season, that just means I came in, me and myself, uh, and, and Ricky came in and did you know the right thing. And uh, you know each year just keep, continue to keep winning more and more games, and that's that's my job. So. We're doing pretty good so far. Keep doing it, number seven. Good to have you All here. All right, appreciate it. Thank you very Thank much. You. Derek Williams.